drop, gonna drop. What have you thought about the game and Big Face 100 beef this entire time? Like it's been going on for so many years now. Well, initially when it started, I thought Big Face was untrustworthy by inviting me to participate because you, you would assume sibling rivalries would mend themselves. But then when you see how the longevity of their rivalry has extended, it reminds me of Cain and Abel. If you have any type of religious background, we're taught to believe the first recorded murder was amongst brothers. So it's kind of like the way things go. Yeah, yeah. That's, I just think it's an unfortunate situation, you know, between two brothers, blood, blood brothers at that, you know, that uh, success can come in the way and um, just have you at odds with each other. Of course, but how, how ironic that eventually Big Face started claiming Game started rapping by looking in his rap book, and then he started putting out raps. After he told me, I ain't no rapper, I'm a gangster. My brother the rapper, I'm my brother's keeper, though. That's how, this is the ironic, intricacy, intricacy, intricate, yeah, intricacies, intricacies, yeah. intricacies of my interactions with one of them that is George, Big Face 100, that people don't understand why I'm so shocked at how he acts out. I don't know. I mean, because, like, at the time, though, like, after you saw them stop rocking with each other after the first album, though, were you surprised when uh, he came out and he, he he basically said all those things about his brother? And, you know, no, I mean, I'm not surprised that that amount of success would cause a wave of disgruntlement or discern, you know, d disagreement amongst family members. Brothers are not exempt, but I assume that the brotherhood they express will eventually mend that because it's siblings. It's what we typically see with siblings, you know. So when Face invited me to be disrespectful to his brother by coming over there, I lost a lot of respect for Face immediately upon his invitation that I did not make him aware of as I accepted the invitation. Still playing chess against my adversary, but looking at his brother like, you a piece of shit. But, but at that time, though, it had to be one of the first times we saw people take things to the Internet. Right. To air out their personal grievances. None of that. None of that exempts him from being so whatever with his brother that he invited me to participate. Right. I don't none of None of that matters. I quantified that as disloyal because at, at, at the at the most. You should not entertain me, even if you beef him with your brother, you don't invite his hip hop adversary street nigga to come over there and try to defame him. That's the lowest. All right. Can you tell me about the? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Accountability. Does that not make sense? And don't edit this answer out. No, no, it makes sense. You have a brother? Yeah. You ever beef with him? Yeah. Don't we say this? I could be in the yard fighting my brother. You come through disrespecting him. We're going to kick your ass and get back to fighting. Yeah. That's what we believe about brothers. So come on, bro. You don't invite me a crib. So do you understand then Game's point of view where he said that on Drink Champs, he said, you can't say that about my brother, but I can. You can't do that to my brother, but I can. Like that type of shit. That phrase in general, I understand. I didn't hear Game say it. I don't. Yeah, yeah he. I don't that's spend one of the time few consuming times, game content, but. It's one of the few times he spoke about face. That phrase in general resonates with me. I've gone through things with my blood brothers that. I don't choose or feel like I have to explain to nobody how we got over it. You know, at one point we was at extreme ends at odds, especially with my most gangster street brother. I'm named after him. And we've been sometime, you know, him and myself might believe just the separation and distance of him doing a large amount of time caused us from clashing just based on the nature of things and the intricacies of it would never be, detail to anyone outside of myself and him. It's just what brothers go through. I just thank God we was fortunate to get beyond it before the worst took place or something irre irrevocable took place. You feel me? I think it kind of it goes with the same thing that's like not everything is for public consumption. And that's what a lot of people forget. And it seemed like Big Face 100 was at the forefront, forefront of not focusing on that fact by including me to publicly humiliate his brother in the midst of a sibling rivalry. Doja may never articulate it, but that very well may be one of his most motivating moments as not to reconcile with his brother.
Yeah, because they've tried to uh, reconcile over the years, but it seems like it's very short lived. That's like trying to get back with your wife after she let your main op come through and beat the cock up. You might forget about it a few times over a few bottles and pills, but you're going to sober up and look at her and, and see that nigga beating it. So Doja might look at his brother like that, like, you let Spider Low come over here and, and clown me, nigga. You don't love me. How could you ever convince a nigga you love him once you allowed that to take place? <laughs>